Hi, fam. Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And we're back with another reaction. It's more Vikings. Which one, Dan? So we're on to episode eight, Portage. Previously, the Vikings and Rolo specifically clashed at the two towers. <laughs> Semi accurate, yes. yes. <laughs> also, Eckbert's kingdom just got a lot bigger. He has now got Mercia under his control, and Ragnar is talking to a severed head. Yes. Skull fam! <laughs> the two towers. <laughs> Look at everybody looks so defeated. I can't say I blame them. Things did go poorly last time. Yeah, they did. We bought into the magic of Ragnar Lothbrok. We thought no one can stand in his way. We cannot accept failure. Well, then piss off, man. What would you have done different? Nothing. Because if I saw correctly, your asses were getting thrown off your own boats. If I were you, I wouldn't talk about Ragnar Lothbrok like that to my face. Damn right. That woman will kill you. Oh, yes. In very bad ways. I fear the trust you have placed in the Northman Rollo is misplaced. Uh, he helped you. Rollo's conversion to Christianity is a joke, for there is nothing else in the mind of the pagan Rollo but the destruction of Paris. In any case, Your Highness, he has now served his purpose. When he says he has served his purpose, I wonder if Roland's actually talking about Odo there. Maybe. We have won a great victory in Mercia. And Wigston. He has renounced all this world and gone on a final pilgrimage to Rome. Then I am queen again. <laughs> We're going to make camp here. I want to know why. I don't need to know why. Do you have some way of using that terrain to your advantage? I might say he sees something. Mm -hmm. What are we doing here? Yes. We also want to know. What do you care? You don't have a boat anymore. We are going to lift the boats up the cliff. <laughs> we are going to carry them past the forts and then simply slide them back into the river. You're not serious. <laughs> That's a lot of effort. Up there. You can do that, can't you, Floki? I can do it, Ragnar. I can do it for you. Everything I do, Ragnar, is for you. <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> That's what that was, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sigurd, what? What's wrong with you? Oh. Don't you like to listen to Hobbit's stories? No. <laughs> is it something to do with me? I wish my father was here. Everything is strange. Mm. Your father would kill this man. Yes. We don't like you sleeping with mom in front of us. <laughs> I want to tell him that I love him. Oh. That's he has the awkward. wrong idea. I love. All of you. That's even more awkward. It's it's so cultish. He's a snake oil salesman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's selling a kind of snake, yeah. Yeah. You know, of course, that I am with child. And who, pray, is the father? Your son, Aetherwolf. How strange life is. Now you can't get rid of her. Yeah, Judith is going to be heartbroken. I doubt it. <laughs> I also need to return to Mercia. You are no longer Queen of Mercia. Because I am the king. Yeah. Before they were unfortunately put to death, the members of the ruling council were obliged to put their seals to these documents. Oh my. <laughs> you made them forfeit their lands and then you killed them? No! You are a monster! How do you sleep at night? Lord Eckbert, how do you sleep? Young lady, <laughs> you needed his help too many times. Yeah. If he's the one taken, he's not giving it back. Right. And he sleeps very well with his yeah. son's wife. That's right. <laughs> How strange life is. I wish to commend you for everything you've done for me. And for me. The defeat of Ragnar Lothbrok will resound down the ages. As long as my brother is still alive, he is not defeated. You talk as if you no longer need me to protect you. Mm. <laughs> you should also know that I'm carrying Rollo's child. <sighs> How strange life is. Oh. <laughs> Everybody's saying that today. <laughs> I have not seen you for a long time. I was busy fighting the Northmen. And in the meantime, I've had an interesting idea. Go on. How <laughs> about a longer whip? I thought for once you might like me to whip you. Of course, you can choose the whip. <laughs> interesting. Something very familiar about all this. Oh, they're getting those boats up there. 
I didn't think they were actually lift them by hand out. <laughs> but I mean, there's not much difference. They got a little system here, it's working. After everything, we heard that thought. We still underestimated you, we feel stupid. We're honored to be here with you. Doing the impossible. Yeah, get over there and do your, <laughs> hell, do your part. Grab a rope, do something. Yeah, that's why you'll never be king. <laughs> that's right. You can't think outside the box. Where are you taking me? You have to come. <laughs> He's getting oh. a threesome on, okay. <laughs> Can't tell me she didn't know anything about this. Seriously, you've been watching him make out with all the women in this place. Are you ready? Strike. Oh god. <laughs> that felt weak. No, oh, no, no. Harder. If you insist. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> he felt that. Roland. <laughs> Oh, Odo. Who would have thought? I know. No dignity for you right now. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. It's just real. Look at that guy. Yeah. <laughs> That's gotta be sweet justice for her. Yeah. Well, it's getting messy back there. Oh, oh man. Good god. Whoa. Well, say goodbye to Odo, huh? Sure, they're gonna let him live after this, right? No. Judith, I need your help. I am betrayed. He has made himself king of Mercia at my expense. Look, the way Judith sees it, you're free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Judith, I need your help to escape. Will you help me? Something tells me she's not going to help you. I don't think so. That didn't look like a helping gesture. Right. <laughs> Oh, don't hurt me. <laughs> what have I done to you? Hmm? I love you. <gasps> How can you love me when you sleep with every woman in Gatiga? I don't sleep with every woman. Only those who need me. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just yeah. the young and fertile ones. I take their troubles upon myself as I took Ivar's pains upon myself. You can't be buying this. All I longed for was your presence and your caresses. I will always. <laughs> Be with you, little one, but do not try to possess me, because possession is the opposite of love. Yeah, because I'm a man, and I got needs from everybody. <laughs> Give this driver. Where are you going? You're crazy, I'm out of here. <laughs> Look at her, she's nuts. <laughs> are you surprised that he's leaving? <laughs> she's trashing your house? Why would you want to stick around for this? You know, of course, about Quenthrith and my son. I also know that you have taken the crown of Mercia. I had no choice. Mm. I love you. I have lied about many, many things, but I find that I cannot lie to you, nor escape your judgment. That got real interesting. Yeah, I don't want a day the wolf gone for this conversation, too. <laughs> yeah. Up. Go on and take a shot if you think you're man enough. Islander, no! What? What? There's no way! No, you can't do that to Bjorn. Oh, no, God's me. sake. Ah! <laughs> I'm sitting like here, like Erlinger Erlin just, just signed his own damn death warrant. Right, in front of everybody? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Count Odo has been executed Jesus. by my order. Turn him into a meat sack. Your grace will now be entrusted completely with the defense of our realm. This is the iron hand of Franca. I give it to your grace. Only if I can keep my real hand. <laughs> <laughs> You mean Odo actually wore that shit on his hand? I guess he did. God, I thought that was a replacement hand. I thought it was too. Quinn, are you making a run? She's going for it. But they already saw her. Oh yeah. Magnus, let's go! Magnus! Clear a path! Magnus, let's go! 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 Magnus, let's go
You're a political prisoner. Then let then you go back to Mercia. I cannot allow you to leave, especially not with Magnus. Magnus is the son of Ragnar Lothbrok. You also carry my son's child. You will stay here and be confined. I will place guards around the villa. Do not expect to escape. It could be worse, Quinthrith, honestly. She's not outright killing you. Yeah, you're in a castle and you're going to be fed very nicely. Yeah, I mean, not as well as in Frankia, but... You know what, that's true. Nobody's ever going to be fed <laughs> quite like that. I need you to give me what you have left. There's nothing left. The only reason I wanted you to come was because of the medicine. Nah. I'm here because you said I was a free woman. That's what I heard. I said that you could come and go as you please. God dang it, Ragnar. <laughs> you've lied to me and you've lied to your people, but you made the mistake of telling your secret about the slaughter of the families in Wessex. Mm, you shouldn't have said that. Yeah. <laughs> Easy, Ragnar. There's one way to hide that secret. Oh, no. He's serious. Yeah, he's gonna kill her. Wow. You just murdered her. Dang. Ragnar, what has become of you? Oh my god. Oh, I see you talk your way out of this. It's alright. It's alright. Sure that you disguise the boat and take care of Helga. You're they're scared of you, man. Yeah, and they should be. Yeah. We'll just get rid of this. Jesus. Shut the tide don't roll back in, just wash your back up on shore. Wow. They're still lifting the boats or they moving them now? They're still lifting. Yeah, they're still lifting. I bet they got a whole system here. <laughs> Damn, Floki, you can you made a railroad. <laughs> That's impressive. It's a boat railroad, yeah. It is Jeez. a lot, man. Yeah. Some slow work, too. Yeah. Finally, they invented wheels. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna make a play for Eckbert? <laughs> Wait. This guy's all over you. Yeah. I must see the king. It is impossible. Oh. oh! Dang, she got you. I guess she's tired of you following her. I don't know what you think you're gonna get away with here. Oh. Things could have been so much better. She's got you. Mm-hmm. If you kill me, my guards will kill you with no questions asked. <laughs> you think so, huh? Oh, he got her. Oh, she oh, got no. her. Judith did, all right. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Oh, Judith, you killed twice over. Yep. Look what you have made me become. You're as bad as him now. Unbelievable. Oh my god, what is going on in this episode? Everybody's dying. Yes, and running away, and whatever. And whatever. I don't think I expected all that. I don't think I expected Idu to, to open her mouth and pay the pay the price. I mean, for Quinthrith, I didn't see what options she had in life, I guess. Right. Other than just, you know, living out the rest of her days in luxury. Honestly, I half expected Equity to just kill her outright. I think the, the pregnancy kind of put a wrinkle into that, but there's no reason why he still couldn't have gone through with it. Right. But she keeps saying Magnus is Ragnar's son. Mm-hmm. And that's not true. I don't know whose son he is, but... It could be. There's, I don't... Okay, we didn't see any of that happen. Well, we didn't see it in graphic detail, but I think we know <clears throat> what happened. You saw what she did in that episode. I saw what she did the first time. We don't know what she did the second time. She sat on top of him. More piss. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Some people are just like that. Well, even so, how are you going to prove it? Not like you have DNA tests in the 10th century. I suppose. <laughs> it's really just her word against his, so... Right. And now, uh, not anymore. 
Oh, duh. well, Magnus is still alive, so that's potentially an issue there for them. There is that. Nonetheless, there's there's a lot to unpack here, I guess, right now. So, also, we can't forget about o- Odo, oh. who, who got killed, too. That's three people, man. Three big names taken off the board. Right. So I mean, we saw Roland trying to set him up. It was only a matter of time. In history, that's not how that's supposed to happen. Odo's supposed to succeed him to the throne. What? Yeah. Oh, shit. No. <laughs> Okay, so we're seeing an alternate telling of this. They're getting a very liberal with the storytelling here. Oh my. <laughs> Alright. I can see how this might piss off people that are like nuts about how things actually went. Well, I mean, a lot of the show is no pretty fabricated anyways, but that's kind of an odd one as far as I'm concerned. If anything, I would have expected Odo to like find a way to get around Roland and get him incriminated instead. They decided to make him kind of like a bad guy here. Yeah. Who was after who's after the power of the throne there. So, mm-hmm. I mean, you, know, you play the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. You played it with the wrong people. What's weird, too, is I'm surprised how easily the king's accepting Rolo and his obedience. What, okay, what else can he do? <laughs> Rolo, in the fewest words possible, sat there and said, you don't think you're getting rid of me, do you? <laughs> and he said nothing else. Right. <laughs> That's incredible. I, I mean, we've already seen this king's not the bravest man in the world. No. If somebody suspects you're onto him, yeah, you should probably back off. I think so. I think Rolo's got no problem killing you if it suits his purposes. And he's got a legitimate heir to the throne now, so he don't need you. No. Just your just your daughter. Yeah. That's it. (laughs) That's it. If he did that, he'd be king of freaking France. Right. (laughs) Oh my god. That would really mess up the timeline. It's like where the hell is that going? At that point I'd be like, I don't have to save this place. Brother, come on, give me a hug. All hell Rolo, Holy Roman Emperor. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all the way to the Holy City? Jeez. Well, I don't know about that, man. Uh, all right, yeah, we're, we're, we're just going all over the place here. But Ragnar, man, he has just killed off his only supply, which means he's now going to have to face reality. I'm sure he still has whatever supply she was carrying, but eventually that's going to run out and he has no means of getting more of it, so no, it's going to hit him sooner or later. Yeah, you're going to have to deal with the pain. Again, in whatever form it comes in, it's probably going to be even worse because you're going to go through withdrawals at some point. Yeah. I don't know if we'll see him go through that, but, uh, you know, you're you, you're in for a long haul here across whatever you're, whatever venture you're taking through the woods, mm-hmm. dragging these freaking boats through, like on, <laughs> down the boat railroad here. Right. How long that's going to take, I have no clue. But They're not moving very fast. They can't. Yeah. They can't, and there's a lot of boats. They still haven't lifted them all. I don't know how long this is going to take them just to get them up there. It's going to take them a bit, but they got time. Like I said, the Frank, the Franks don't seem to know that they're there, so that gives them an advantage in terms of getting up there, getting around the forts. Once you're around the forts, it's a much much more even fight. Yeah, you have time to get to do that, but the problem is you're sacrificing a lot of time because once you get where you're going, you got one shot. Yeah, you can't afford to have a long-term siege of the city. you got to get in, get out, and go back home. Exactly. You got one shot, and you may have to deal with those towers to get on the way out. Yeah, that could be an issue too. Like, you gotta find some way of dealing with that defensive barrier. Especially if you get thrown the heck out. Mm hmm. And you don't know if they will. I mean, Rolo's keeping keeping his head on a swivel here. He's like, my brother's not done. He's never been done. Right, he understands as long as Ragnar's alive, this fight's not over. So, I'm sure he's got plans in place to deal with it, but I don't know what. Right. Or if he even knows what Ragnar's gonna come up with. We're going to find out soon enough, for sure. So. Uh-huh. But Judith went and killed Quintrith. Honestly, I thought it was a possibility, too. Because, you know, with her having um, the kid there, uh, Alfred, yeah, Quintrith having the child of Aethelwolf kind of puts a complication in the whole family dynamics there because Alfred would be next to the throne after Aethelwolf if something happened to him. But now that Aethelwolf has a son through another kid, then that wouldn't that give Quintrith's kid higher station? think so right right let's say i want to know what's going to go on with magnus now because like he's he's solely in the hands of Eckbert and judith here mm-hmm. right now so that means something for him i don't know like like what is like what what hand does that play into ragnar too if he truly is his father so i don't know i don't know but ragnar hasn't been back to england in a long time yeah his first thoughts were to go back to paris he didn't even think about going back to england which i thought was kind of odd i figured he'd want revenge real badly on Eckbert, but For me, it's like you went to Paris, you succeeded, screw coming back for a while, let's go deal with what we had to deal with there. Yeah. But no, you 
They've had time to dig in now. You're going to have the hardest time dealing with Ekbert now that his kingdom has grown. Mm -hmm. And things aren't going well in Paris either, so even if you come out of it alive, you're not going to be in great shape going forward. No, this is a horrible decision, in my, in my opinion. But also, since Ekbert has Mercia and Wessex right now, eventually, what, what's to stop him from having Northumbria too? And then his empire is even bigger. I mean, I mean Northumbria is just a little chunk in all that, too. But even then, just having the two the two kingdoms there, he should have plenty of forces at his disposal to put up a fight against Ragnar. Yeah, on multiple fronts if he wanted to. Mm -hmm. And it's really another one of those things where I think the drugs is having an effect on Ragnar, too. Because he used to go and attack these places out of curiosity. Now he's not even doing that anymore. He's just going back to Paris because it's something to do. I know, he's not even thinking about it. He's not even thinking about his actions. You got, you got all of continental Europe, you want to go back to Paris. I don't get it. But I mean, at least he had a brief moment of clarity there when he's like, how do we make this trip still a success? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a way out of the box thinking, let's get these boats up the up the quarry and get going. Yeah. So I still don't know why he didn't find some place with like a more gentle slope to try to get up there. But I don't know either. <laughs> but man, I'm, I'm, I'm not liking the place he's in right now. So... No, but he's still thinking, which is good. There's some possibility of him coming up with a solution to this whole raid, but he's got to work some things out still. Right. Also, Erlander is, uh, he's about that close. <laughs> he's about that close to, to having his name marked out of this world forever. I'm fairly certain he will not survive this season. <laughs> no. Or no. this raid, even. I don't think so. Lagatha also apparently still has... I know she had still had feelings about Ragnar there. Because mm -hmm. she's not left, about to let two new guys talk, sh talk shit about him. Mm -hmm. There's that still. I mean, that, that probably never goes away. Well, I, certain, I imagine there's a certain amount of respect, too. Because, like, like we pointed out, you know, he's a really smart guy. I mean, look at the guys that she's been with. Her first husband, she had to kill him because he was abusive. Her second husband, you know... That's her second husband, was, the, was that guy. Well, yeah, I mean, okay. First husband after Ragnar, Ragnar. You, I'm sorry. The yeah. third husband was going to be Cal. Cal was a questionable individual, too. He almost betrayed her and took away his, her kingdom the first time. All these other guys that she's met have been untrustworthy individuals. Yeah. You know, at least with Ragnar, you know, yes, he was adulterous, but he was still committed to his family. He was still committed to doing the right thing for his people, which is more than you can say for a lot of these other guys. Right. Yeah, good on her then. No, I, I just I just appreciated that. Yeah. So, yeah, because I don't like these two guys right now. I'm like, man, who are you to talk? You wanted to go first, you did, <laughs> and you lost your boat, and you're just guests on hers right now. Right. You guys wouldn't have done any better, no matter how much you complain about Ragnar's leadership. Right. So shut your mouth and and enjoy the ride. Uh -huh. The and and lastly, let's just talk about Ashluck here. Um, this this woman here getting going nuts like that when Harbord is just out there being you know the sleaze that he is mm -hmm. it's just the weirdest thing to see because it's like you're off the deep end right now you look crazy you went crazy yeah now you look even crazier i mean you're committing adultery you saw this guy hanging around with all these other women in town like how would you not know what was going on without your son having to show you I mean, you should have at least suspected something as an intelligent human being. Well, and I feel so bad for the son there, too, because mm -hmm. he's watching all this happen. He's got this strange man in his home where his dad lives, and he's just sitting there playing dad. Mm -hmm. I'm like, no, nah, man, I'd feel really, really uncomfortable if I was in that kid's shoes myself. I'd say he knows something is wrong, Yeah, and he's pointing it out. Mom's in this complete wrong here. What, what's funny is, you know, she talks about him being a monster at birth, Seeger. He's being a monster for her, not for his father. That's a good point. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought about that. <laughs> but he has to be right now. Yeah. He has to be, because she's not thinking straight. And it's like, man, you, are you going to let your kids, you know, show you up on this right now? You right. Know, you're supposed to be the adult here, not them. No, I mean, I've never liked her since we first met her, and, you know, this is just kind of backing it up, and then she can't handle, her, handle herself emotionally. Exactly. Things like you tearing your house apart like that with your kids around because he's sleeping with other women. I'm like, you're a married woman. This shouldn't bother you at all. Say, so you did it too. What's the problem? Exactly. But there's that. You know, fam, you can hate You can hate us for bringing it up. I don't care. It is what it is. Right. <laughs> you know, there is no argument to that in my opinion, but by all means, try. <laughs> okay, your relationship with Ragnar is rocky, but that's mostly you're doing. Exactly. No relationship is ever going to be perfect. There's always going to be ups and downs. You're going to mm -hmm. have successes and failures. The trick of it all is to is to find a way to to get through the storms together. And you're not and she's not doing that.
with no. her. She's not even interested. No. So. Oh well, but that's but you know people are an imperfect beings or beings, right? Mm -hmm. But that's gonna do it for us, guys. As always, if you're brand new to this channel, hope you'll consider subscribing and help us grow. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and hit the bells to receive notifications every time we drop a video. And should you feel compelled to give us a piece of your mind, please do so in the comments. While you're at it, take a look at us on our socials. We're on Instagram and TikTok. See what we're up to over there, guys. But as always, this is Cocktail Flicks. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And we'll catch you on the flip side. Skull fam, skull Dan. Skull Joe. Later, guys. Bye.